Last week, it was announced that Elrond, the Elvish Lord, is the first legendary character coming to Lord of the Rings Shows of Middle-earth. And this week, we have the kit for Arwen, the daughter of Elrond, who's also coming to Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-earth as a marquee character. So in this video, we're going to take a look at her kit, which is different than what is in the game right now. Take a look at the rest of the elves and what this could mean for the Elrond unlock. And if you're ready for that, and you want to do Valley Club, find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Flying. Hello there, fans of Middle Earth. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we are talking about all about Arwen, the daughter of Elrond, the elf that is coming to Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. Now, before we get into all that, I do want to remind you guys, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more great Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth content on this channel. There's a bunch of videos that help you getting set for these legendary characters talking about who to farm, how to build up your account, and everything else to help you in Lord of Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth. So hit that subscribe button. But let's get right into this announcement, Arwen. And it says here, marquee character. And uh, this could be something similar or something different than what Capital Games have done in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And it could be something similar to that Darth Malik, Darth Revan release, where we're getting a marquee character in Arwen. And then very shortly after that is when we're going to get Elrond. And maybe Arwen will be used to unlock Elrond. I hope that's not how it is for this very first legendary character. But as we see some tags here, support Elf Rivendell. And this matches up what we've already seen in the game if you checked out my video last week we see a kit of arwen a, a npc that is in the game right now similar kit to this but different and as it says here the daughter of elrond and even star of her and even star of her people arwen fiercely defends the west against the coming shadow her light brings to help to those in need and it says here she has some synergy with some characters already in the game laleo and elra here so uh, they are already in the game right now. One is a Rivendell elf. One is just an elf. So interesting to see what faction she's going to end up in. Obviously, Elrond, the legendary character, is going to be an elf. And he is part of that Rivendell squad. For I am the daughter of Elrond, I shall not go with him when he departs for the Haven. For mine is the choice of Luthien. And as she so have I chosen, oh, the sweet and the bitter, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. So... Arwen, Light Faction, Rivendell Faction, or Light Alignment, Rivendell Faction, part of the Light Elf, Rivendell Support, One Hand Sword, and her weapon type is One Hand and Sword. And it says here, she's the daughter of Elrond, Evan Star of her people. Arwen officially defends the West of against her shadow and those in need. So actually, it's the exact same thing that was said here. So this is a description or a basic ability, Guarded Slash. And there you can see the ability right there in effect. And at unlock, what it's going to do is going to attack the target enemy for 90% damage and 50% chance to grant a stack of defensive to the most wounded squad member. A defensive is going to allow you to block the next attack. What it's going to do at max rank, instead of attacking the target for 90% damage, it's going to go all the way up to 180% damage when he fully built that. It will grant a stack of defensive to the most wounded squad members, not a 50% chance to grant that. So decent basic here. Guard slash is just going to slash them and do some damage and grant some defensive to the most wounded squad members special ability is this one right here deadly earnest and as you see she's paired here with strider had some synergy with strider as the npc in the game right now but as we've seen her kit does not have any synergy with strider at all it's a stamina cost of three so probably can use this on the first turn at unlock is going to attack the target enemy 130 percent damage and just spell a boon and a boon is a positive effect from the enemy. At max rank, it's gonna go all the way from 130 damage to 270% damage. It's not gonna just dispel one positive effect from the enemies, it's gonna dispel two boons from the enemies. It's gonna grant 20% turn meter and an additional 20% per boon, AKA positive effect on herself. So this is gonna be a good move. She is a support character, so this is gonna support the rest of the team and help uh, keeping the rest of the team surviving a little bit longer. Evening Star, the ultimate ability. This is a nice looking ability. It looks like a heal, doesn't do a lot of damage here. Upgraded cost is five, but as stamina cost is gonna be four as uh, as it is released in the game. At unlock is gonna clear one bane or cleanse one bane, AKA a negative effect 
from two squad members with the most banes, then you're gonna grant a stack of regeneration for one turn to all squad members. And at the max rank, once you fully build up this ability, it's gonna cleanse one bane from all squad members, not just two squad members. It's gonna grant a stack of regeneration for one turn to all squad members. And it's gonna uh, uh, grant a stack of additional uh, regeneration to squad members below 50% health. It's also gonna grant an immunity, which means you cannot receive any banes, AKA you cannot receive any negative effects. It's gonna grant an immunity to the most wounded Rivendell squad member. So not just an elf, it has to be a Rivendell squad member. And it says Rivendell here. It doesn't say Road to Rivendell. So just for those Rivendell elves is what she's doing this for. And her passive we see here, at unlock when a squad member drops below 50% health, have a 50% chance to grant them one stack of nimble and a nimble is kind of like a base. So it's going to evade the next attack. It's going to trigger once per squad member and at max rank, one squad member drops below 50% health. You're going to grant them one stack of nimble. If they're light, you also have a 50% chance to cleanse a bane from them. And this could trigger once per match and you're also getting 10% damage. This is a very good one. We'll see what squad she's at and what it says as far as the attributes here. Arwen is a strong addition to any squad, but really shines with any allied Rivendell elves, such as her brother Elra here, who is already in the game right now. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She heals her allies and provides a very powerful defensive boons, enabling the most, most wounded allies to stay in the fight. Add this to her Bane cleansing and tactical boon dispelling abilities. She is a must have for any player, especially if you're thinking of unlocking Elrond right now. And strategy tips, it says for her, Arwen provides a variety of defensive boons, enabling the most wounded allies to stay in the fight. Pay attention to who your most wounded member is to make best use of Arwen's abilities. When Arwen has five boons or more, Deadly Earnest will grant her enough turn meter to take her another turn. She's getting 20% each of the boons, and Deadly Earnest is going to get a full another turn for her. So that's a good one. Her passive will allow her to defend a weakened member with Nimble or Evade. Use this to your advantage on any squad that has to keep any key members alive. And if we go in the game right now, we see that there's four elves in the game right now, plus another one, Elrond, that has been announced. Two of them, Loamon and Elro here, are Rivendell elves. Leliel and Naramiri are just elves there. So this may be the full squad, Arwen on this squad, and then Elrond, or maybe Elro here, Loamon. Elrond, Arwen, and maybe one other. What do you think this full team is going to be? And what do you think the uh, unlock for Ar uh, Elrond is going to be? We still don't have any official word on that, but let me know your guesses, guys. Hopefully, it is a friendly unlock. Hopefully, all the characters are farmable right now in the game, but we will see. And hopefully, Arwen is not tied to an unlock of Elrond. But let me know your guesses on the unlock for Elrond. Let me know your guesses as the best use for Arwen. Will she be farmable? Will she have some event and be very, very limited? And will she be an unlock for uh, Elrond? But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't already, check out some of the other videos on the channel. Check me out on social media. Share this with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Hulk fist bump. Valley flying. I'll see you guys next time.